Hi everyone, I'm sure you have heard of ChatGPT's capability in proofreading and also editing your work. But to a lot of people, this could be confusing because they may not know what type of prompts can be used in uh, ChatGPT so that they can generate the required results. So in this video, I'll be sharing one extension that you can install on your Chrome or Firefox browser to enhance the capability of ChatGPT as a provider and also as a language editor. So this is the plugin that you can try. It's called Edit GPT. At the moment, it's available for Chrome and also Firefox. You just choose the browser. Make sure you are using the browser version on desktop, not on your mobile phone. And like my case, I have added it to my Chrome. You can see the page here and it's already installed. That's why it's asking me to remove. If you don't have it on your Chrome, then you ask you to install, right? Um, you can also go through the instruction here or you can go to the page you can see a whole bunch of uh, example prompts here like prove your essay this is the prompt that you can use and master's thesis and all that you can even tailor uh, according to certain style like ensure it follows APA styles guide and all that so you can see some sample on their uh, website so once you install uh, edit GPT all you have to do is enable it by clicking this button and then type something like proof with this and then paste your uh, essay or your paragraph into the box and then uh, click enter but make sure you remember that if your essay is too long then you might want to do it part by part on a separate chat rather than in a contextualized manner because it will keep the uh, edit gpt running smoothly because if you keep on using the same thread then you probably uh, get confused with the previous one right so this is the sample so it will try to make some changes first you can see the comparison being made here so you wait until it's done wait until it's done and it will tell you how many percent of your passage has been rewritten right in this case in my case maybe not much because not you know intentionally i did some errors here i purposely did that so that you can well, just to check whether it can detect it so let's say i like this so i will just highlight this part and i will just click accept changes and those changes are applied and if I want to do that, I can just highlight everything and accept, right? So anyhow, try this. And like what I said, if you want to go for the next paragraph, try not to do in a flow because it might disturb the uh, the current uh, checking. So you might want to start a new one and then, you know, repeat the process. Because uh, what I notice is if you put in too many tags in one go, it start to get confused with the previous paragraph due to the contextualized manner of a chat GPT. So that's all for now. Don't forget to check their website for more details and more updates. I think they'll be introducing more features uh, in the coming weeks. So watch out their space, uh, their website. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more video like this. Thank you.